Hey guys, it's Tommy Arto and I've got a new favourite mobile game and it's called On My Own Arena. On My Own Arena is a series from NetEase. All the characters on this game that I have found are original. There's no similarities in any different games. All of the characters are like, wow, I've never seen that character before. I've never seen anything like this character. It's so original and unique. This game's really adapted to the Japanese culture. As you can see, everything is so Japanese. -y. It's great, I love it. Very anime-like, very cartoony. This game introduces new modes when you rank up. Once you rank up to the diamond rank, you can play draft mode and even fog of war. And as you rank up, you get an even larger base of Shikigami players to choose from. Players from all around the world are connected to play this Japanese-inspired game. And it's now introducing a 3v3v3 battle royal. It's really interesting, it's not just a Simple 5v5 MOBA game, they're always introducing new gameplays, game modes, new characters, new skins. All characters have a reason on the battlefield, there's no underdogs, everyone's skilled, everyone's powerful in their own way. There's no overpowered characters. If you love MOBA games, this is definitely worth a download. I've not been off it since I've downloaded it. Okay, so I'm gonna have a match and you can watch my gameplay and you can see how it is for yourself. And I hope I win this game because it won't be a very good video if I lose. Hey guys, it's Tommy Arto and I'm about to show you a gameplay of this new game I've been playing. It's called Omeodo Arena and I've got my new favourite character. She's a water mage. She looks cute. She's all japanese -ish. She's got a fan and she gets followed around by this massive goldfish. So what's not to love about this character? <laughs> Look how cute she is. <laughs> So this MOBA game is on top right now. I mean, just look at the graphics. It's so like adapted to the Japanese culture. Justice. Everything's so japanese -y. The graphics are great. It's and that's probably the reason why it's got over 200 million downloads worldwide. This game really stays in the genre of adapting the Japanese culture with the lily pads, the grass, even when you're going through the grass, it just sways. It's it's graphically really good for a mobile game. Usually in video games, you've got your favorite character that you always be. But in this game, you've, you haven't got a favorite character because all the characters are your favorites because every character is unique and they're designed amazingly. There's no underdog characters. There's no overpowered characters. Every character is balanced and every character has a reason in the game. Obviously to level up faster, you kill minions, you kill monsters to earn your extra gold. Each character has four abilities and two general spells. And this spell and my spells are flash and heal. Heal gives me more life, I'm a flash, I can flash about two, two in-game meters across the map. Which is really good if you're in battle and you need to get away, you just flash away. Based on your in-game strategy, you can create your own combinations of abilities. I mean, this character, she's called Kingyo. I think I'm pronouncing it right, Kingyo. She's just so cute, she's, she, she holds a fan, she gets followed around by a goldfish, and her ultimate, she just summons a massive goldfish and it just attacks everyone in that perimeter. She's my, she's one of my favorites, <laughs> definitely. So there are seven types of buffs in On My Order Arena, which is slow down, stun, armor break, and heal. The red Karin will give you the heal down effect. The water Karin will give you the armor break effect. The lightning Karin will give you the stun effect. And the wind Karin will give you the slow effect. If you're a mage, try and get the slow or a heal buff. A ninja will be useful with the break armor. 
and the slow down buff. A tank would benefit from the stunning buff and a marksman would benefit from the break or slow buff. You and your opponents will be rotating the jungle effects. So if your team has water and lightning, then your enemies will have fire and water. Remember that because it will definitely be useful. In this game, there are a total of three jungle lords. The Kraken Lord will give you 5% mat and attack. If you successfully pick up the flag, then you will be able to use the Kraken special move that locks into a tower. Rujin also gives 5% mat and attack but this one gives you and your teammates a resurrection portion that will heal your health 50% if you die. Like any other MOBA games, killing the jungle lords gives you a huge advantage and it's the same with Orochi. If you successfully kill Orochi, your team will be given three waves of much more powerful creeps. What I like about this MOBA game is each character is important. They're all powerful, there's no underdogs, they're all very balanced. So if your team plays right, every character is strong and unique. And most importantly, the cute. That's the, that's the main reason, the cute. <laughs> Reinforcements are coming. I mean, look how she skips. She skips about with a fan. <laughs> the good thing about this is you don't risk buying a character. You can actually try them out before buying them. So, you can't go wrong. But I'm sure, pretty sure you'll like your character because all the characters on this game are certainly kawaii. Kawaii. <laughs> Obviously, once you learn the characters on this game, you develop the weaknesses, the strengths, who they can go up against, who you need for backup. I mean, I gotta do this, you gotta do this. Comparing to another MOBA game, the graphics on this are just out of the, out of the league, definitely. I mean, this game has certainly adapted the Japanese culture with the pink blossom trees, the autumn colours. There's just so much detail in this game and the characters are so well thought of. I like it. It's, it's, it's my new favourite game. I'm not gonna lie, this is my new favourite MOBA game. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of like anime lovers, manga lovers who enjoy the Japanese language and you can I've put my sentence to English so I can hear the English voice acting but if you wanted to you can leave it on the Japanese setting and feel more authentic playing this game because it's obviously it's very Japanese inspired just by the character designs by the map designs great I love it love it love it you know what, there's not only one gameplay, a 5v5 gameplay, there's actually different modes you can play. You, you can ha change the mode to draft mode or fog of war mode, which is great. Okay, so this is the final time I recall to the base, and I'm skipping up as fast as I can with my fan and my goldfish. My goldfish is called Magic Carp. <laughs> And we are skipping as fast as we can, and we're gonna take down the inhibitor to it. I'm guessing he's a tank because it's quite hard to take down. And obviously, because I'm new at this game, I'm not too sure on everyone's abilities. And so, obviously, so we're 11 minutes into the game, and I'm level. Say, I just use flash. I flashed away so she couldn't kill me. I'm level 17 right now, and he's level 13, and he's 14. So I've been doing quite a lot of farming and skipping. <laughs> oh, run, 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 she can't catch me. Ah, way. <laughs> That's amazing. As soon as as I stepped on water, I got a bubble and I bubbled away. <laughs> I love the graphics, look at them pink blossom trees, amazing! 
I want to live in this game. The autumn colors. I love the autumn ness. Autumn ness ness. <laughs> well, I think this is the final push. I think we're gonna take them all down. down. Me, I'm a big magic carp. We're gonna kill Legendary. everyone. Yes, some we won. We won. Win. Yes, I'm MVP. I'm MVP. Look how cute she is. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching the video. My in-game username and game code is on the screen right now. So make sure you download this epic game and add me because I need help ranking up and I think we should rank up together. So make sure you create an account and add me, Tommy Ato, and make sure you add the in-game number, which is on the screen now. Until then, I'll see you next time.